Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 6 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Today, I would like to work on a few things, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm getting an excavator head pattern, because I wouldn't mind having an excavator head. Uh, so I'm going to need uh, that, one of those. I think I'm going to go with like an iron excavator head um, for the binding. I don't really matter all that much what the binding is, uh, and the tool rod as well. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, let's get some clay casts going here. I'm thinking iron, just because I can. I it doesn't really matter. Um, we could go bronze too, maybe. Yeah, let's do like a six and two kind of thing. That should get me eight. And I'm gonna do eight of this, and that should work out pretty good. So that should get me eight bronze and eight iron. Uh, and if that's correct, then what we should see pretty quickly is um, uh, half bronze, half iron pickaxe, or uh, excavator. Uh, what I'd like to work on today, uh, potentially, is building a house. I think it's time to move out of this hole in the wall that we call a base and uh, move into a proper home. And I'm going to do something that I have not yet done before in any series. I would like to start out building relatively nice looking houses. Um, there will still be nine by nines, um, but like instead of just using like plain old cobblestone, maybe we can use some fancier looking material because um, we've already got some good smelting going on. So we can totally cook up stone and we can use chisel. Uh, and we can try and make like the wood floor patterns like I like to do. And I'll start off with like basic nice looking houses and then we'll maybe even try to upgrade them. So no promises. This is dire you're looking at here. I ain't, I ain't the best builder that you ever seen in your life, but well, who knows? Maybe maybe they'll turn out halfway decent. Uh, so bronze is coming in. We'll make the excavator head itself bronze. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I'm pretty sure that needs eight, bu eight, eight ingots worth of bronze, which is what I cooked up. Yeah. Nice, and it's cooling. Beautiful. Uh, and then we're going to want the head. So the reason I'm getting the um, excavator is I can, you know, clear things out a little bit easier with an excavator uh, than I could without one. So having a nice 3x3 three three shovel will definitely help me out. There's something else I want to get to help me uh, build with. Yeah, this is going to be cool. Um, Dyer wants to play with a mod that he helped. Well, I didn't help make it, but I came up with the idea for it. That's right, Dyer's mod. We're going to be playing with that today. I nicknamed it Dyer's mod, but I didn't write any of the code for it. McJady did all the code, and, and Weave did all the, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, W-I-V, Wiv, or Weave. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Mm, terrible person. But uh, did all the models and stuff for it. So we're going to play with that mod. You guys may or may not know what I'm talking about. Dun, 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 dun. Excavator. Yay, we've got an excavator. That'll help clear out, like, three by three areas. Um, kind of like that and that definitely helps you know do some good stuff so it's time to check out uh this mod that i had a hand in working on uh i need a north diamond here is this the recipe yeah it is it's a creep cube this is the meat creeps mod yeah i had a lot of fun uh so i i, I kind of came up with this idea uh, Podmar had some input as well, um, and um, there's a couple things in the Meat Creeps mod. There's a Meat Creeps box, and there's a portal gun, which we'll check out later, because the portal gun's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it does require another star to get yourself going. Uh, this is an early beta version of the mod, but Meat Creeps can do lots of cool stuff. They can help you out with all kinds of tasks, like chopping down trees. Well, look out, Creeper. I'm trying to demonstrate Meat Creeps over here, and you're all like... Tss. Lots of things you can do. Uh, chop this tree for me, would you? Yes, sir. -y. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. He hooks me up, and then he despawns. That's what me creeps do. They are basically little helpers. They're meant to be early game uh, assistants. So you're not going to be able to, like, you know, plant them next to a tree and have them just, like, farm up down a whole forest. Um, they can do small, individual, little tasks. Um, it's a beta version of the mod, so it's not fully implemented yet. Um, and there's uh, some other stuff that's going to come around this area, right? Uh, so go ahead and chop this tree and get me some drops. There will be uh, some randomization, but you can see there's a bunch of different textures and models and all kinds of cool stuff. Nice. Uh, the other thing he can do for us is flatten out terrain, which might totally be a good idea. Uh, he won't completely flatten it like forever. Um, there's like a height limit to it, 
but uh, he should do a pretty good job. So if I wanted to flatten out some terrain around here, this might not be a bad spot. So like, hey, right here. Can you uh, flatten out this area 13 by 13, please? Nice. And it's it's centered in the spot where you click. So if you build a 13 by 13 area that you want to flatten, he'll just kind of clear it all out. Thanks, buddy. You're helping out a lot. So Mr. Me, Me Creeps here, he's going to help us. He's going to do some tasks. Take care of a few little things. Yay. Good job, Mr. Me Creeps. He won't build, by the way, when you issue a flatten command. So he won't, like, fill up the area. But, you know. That's fine. And then, like I said, he despawns when he's done. They do have, like, a lifetime limit. So, like, if he gets stuck in a task, he won't live forever. Um, and you can also spawn more than one of them. Hi, I'm Mr. Uh, flatten an area, 13 yes, by 13. Hi, I'm Mr. Flatten an area, 13 yes, by 13. But they'll just kind of all, you know, do their thing. Good job, guys. <laughs> Love it. Beautiful. Mr. Meat Creeps has a few tasks he can do, uh, but there are more coming. Definitely more coming. Interesting. Ah, well, that's cool. It's weird that because he broke those, they didn't... Uh, they didn't decide to, like, decay the leaves. That's interesting. Cool. All right, so that definitely helps out with uh, the flattening of terrain. Um, now, if you go do things manually, you'll probably have a little bit of a faster task to it, right? So, I mean, you can either, you know, ask Mr. Me Creeps to chop uh, down this tree. Mr. Me yes, sir. Or other things. By the way, uh, I'm pretty sure if you shift right click, is this implemented yet? Hi, I'm Mr. Me Creeps. Maybe not. Yes, sir. Thought that was it. Maybe not. It should be noted that the Meat Creeps guy, by the way, is a little contextual. So if you click on a chest, right, you might get some other options, like pick up yes, nearby sorry. items, and he'll go collect stuff for you. And then he'll place it in the chest. So any items he finds on the ground will wind up in the chest over there. Um, he has a limited inventory, so eventually he'll have to go drop off his stuff and go get the others. But pretty neat, huh? So if you uh, left some stuff around... He might uh, do a good job. I'm not actually sure what his uh, search radius is for picking up items, but we'll kind of see. He's doing a nice job of helping out. Thanks, Mr. Me Creeps. You're the best. All right, so I've kind of cleared out a little bit of an area around here. Uh, I might want to uh, be a little bit, you know, more clearing of it. Um, but for now, this totally works. There might be some caves under me. Actually, I'm almost certain. There's some caves underneath this area, but that's okay. We can work around that once we start, you know, building a base and whatnot. So I think this looks like a neat enough area for a base, probably. Um, I'm, I actually didn't 100% decide if that's where I want my base to be. I just kind of started playing with Mr. Marine Creeps and got lost, but, you know, we'll see. All right, so in preparation for this move, what I should maybe consider making uh, is a strong box. So let's get one of those. I think that just needs some tin. Is that what it is that I need there? Yeah, tin ingots times four. Uh, let's see how big this thing is. So what's cool about a strong box, okay, cool, uh, is you can put stuff in it. Well, maybe not you, because I need you. And then you can pick it up, and then you can go place it somewhere else, and the stuff you put in it is still in there. That's pretty neat. Um, so let's cook up some of this stuff. Uh, if I got a hardened upgrade, though, which is totally craftable to me right now, some four bronze and four invar and a couple of redstone and a piece of iron and smelt these guys together, um, I should be able to upgrade this dude. I'm just curious about the size of the strong box once I upgrade him. So I'm pretty sure uh, this gets upgraded. Boink. Nice. Okay, cool. That's neat. 
Um, so that's a good way to move stuff. The other thing we can do is um, crates can have storage crate keepers in them. So for a pretty relatively cheap cost, um, be it just four of you and one of you and uh, some of this, um, if you place this token inside a storage crate, when you break the storage crate, it'll retain its contents, but it'll destroy the token. So then you can place the crate, the token will be gone. If you want to move the crate again, you're going to have to do stuff, like make another token, um, which isn't the end of the world. So speaking of retaining your inventory, do these guys retain their inventory? The answer is uh, it retains its power, it looks like, but not its liquid internal, which is kind of a bummer because I have a lot of refined fuel in here. Not like, you know, a ton. It's only a bucket and a half, but that's like a decent amount of refined fuel. Um, but I can totally restore, retain this power. Hmm. So what I could do is make another energy cell. Probably wouldn't be too bad. It's just lead and a little electrum and some redstone. Let's do that. Uh, gold and silver, please. I'm going to make another energy cell so I can drain... The refined fuel out of here and turn it into power so i can move the power so that i can then move the compression dynamo without worrying about wasting the fuel that i have does that sound fair um so we're gonna need uh, a lead gear i'm gonna need some iron uh one of these oh, i'm gonna also need some glass smelt that up nice and quick Oh good, we have more in here already. Um, so we need this dude. One of these. One of these. And then we should be good to go with one of these. I can pop this guy here. And uh, you're still probably configured for bottom as output. So if I turn this guy back on, he should basically convert all this refined fuel into power for us, uh, which will be good. And the magmatic we can take away. Uh, including this guy, because he's pretty much all burned out. And that should work out. So you're getting power, and uh, we'll come back in a few minutes when that's burned out. But we'll probably start moving, actually, in the meantime. So let's put away some stuff. So we'll probably totally want to clean up our inventory a little bit. Let's maybe get another crate upgrade here. So let's do that. Um, we'll want one of these. crate and then a chest of storage crate and that can be all that stuff boom oh, of course you did that thank you so much this will kind of work for me there we go nice and this thing can come away from us So if we want to move, we can make a couple more of these storage crate keepers. Uh, so we'll want two more of you, eight more of you. Right, and these three storage crates can each get a keeper, which is fine. Um, and that's pretty much good to go for moving, right? So this guy just needs to be set up. So let's move, let's go build our house next. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So you can go away. I'm going to put away a lot of the stuff I don't need to have right now. Um, and we'll use a combination of strong box and the storage crate keepers, and we should be able to move this house pretty easily. Um, I'm going to put away some stuff. That should be good. You can go away. I don't need my shears at the moment. I probably don't need you anymore at all. Cool. Okay. Let's get to work making a house. A good thing to use for making a house will be a builder's wand. That should be good. Um, do I want to use a diamond wand at this point? <sighs> diamonds are nice. Diamond wands really are nice. And we have enough diamonds. I mean, we don't have a ton of diamonds, but I could spare one, right? I could totally spare one diamond without feeling bad about it. And diamond builder's wands are just so good. The other thing I'm going to want is a chisel. I'm not going to use a diamond on a chisel, though. Um, we will just do an iron chisel. So the chisel mod will definitely let us have slightly nicer houses, right? Um, basically the way it works is you put cobblestone in there or any building material and there's a bunch of options you can have. Um, so we can convert our cobblestone into slightly nicer looking blocks 
um, and we can build our house out of it. And eventually we will probably upgrade this house uh, with some other stuff, but for now we'll stick with it. Uh, so circular cobblestone, does that look nice? Let's check out this as a building material. So if we built our house, oh, you don't have connected textures, huh? So you're not that nice. I want something that's like neat looking. Circular has CTM. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, I want circular has CTM. That is the house that I want. Boom. Come here, you. All right, so. So that thing doesn't have a lot of durability, but it's good enough for me. Cool. Okay. So that's good. Um, we'll put away some of this cobble. And the other thing we're going to want probably a decent amount of is wood. Um, never did get around to planting that tree farm that I said I was going to plant. But now's as good a time as any. Uh, let's go stick this somewhere that's meaningful to us. So probably closer to our new base than not. We'll at least just get some trees planted, right? Hello, random hole. Nice to meet you. And still just, you know, clearing out some of the scruff of the area. Eventually this will be like a nice organized area. But for now, it's a little bit messy. Might even fill in this lake at some point. Who knows? We shall see. So if this is going to be like the general area where my new base is, right? Um, <coughs> and we've got, you know... Like I said, there's a few caves under underneath this base, and we will want a basement at some point. By the way, if you're interested in speeding up um, stuff, you can totally Hi, I'm chop Mr. down the street for me, would yes, you guys? Sir, me. Hey, drop down the tree. You know what? Maybe he can't spawn. Because the leaves are in the way? There we go. Uh, chop down this tree. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm Mr. Meeker. And chop yes, down that tree. He's a friendly little helper, isn't he? Loving it. Love the meat creeps. It's like a Pahamar in a box, isn't it? Hey, you. Go do this menial task for me. Let me know when you're done. I guess it's not like a Pahamar in a box, because he actually does what you ask him. So, so he's, he's kind of not really a Pahamar in a box, but you get the idea. You get the intention, at least. Let's flatten this out a little bit more, if we may. Missing a few pieces of dirt. That should do. Hey, I got an Ender Lily. Well, that's a thing. That's a good thing. I like that. All right, so over here maybe can be where we have our tree farm. This is an episode of many miscellaneous tasks. You know what I really need to do is get into Batania, just so I can have the, the horn that clears away all this stuff. That's a really early game Batania item and would probably be nice to have at this point. But for now, let's get a tree farm planted. That should look good. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, I don't really need you, and I don't really need any more flax seeds, I don't think. So I'll just build like a little standard grid. And then I can chop these all down later. Works for me. Oh, an excavator would probably be a good idea. Or the, the broad axe. Yeah, should we make a broad axe? That'll be even faster than a, than a meat creep chopping down the tree. Meat creeps will still be useful for flattening terrain and digging out areas, but... Yeah. I should make a broad axe. Let's put away some of this junk in my inventory at the moment. We'll maybe hang on to the steak, because I'm going to want to eat that soon. Definitely excited to get an ender lily seed. That will allow us to grow ender pearls as plants. It's really slow... Um, but it's doable. Uh, and watering cans do not speed it up in any meaningful way, by the way. Um, cool. 
Let's take a nap real quick uh, and make a broad axe because that would be a really nice thing for chopping down significant numbers of trees. Uh, an axe, please, broad axe. So uh, I know we're going to need probably, I'm thinking same thing, bronze and iron. Does that sound good? Uh, so we're going to need a broad axe head pattern. Um, so we'll want, let's get some wood real quick. So we'll want a plate, a broad axe head, and I'm sure it's just a binding and a tough tool rod, right? Yeah. Binding, which we'll make out of wood, and a tough tool rod out of wood. And let's get our metal smelted. So we'll do, again, iron and bronze. Cool. And that'll do its thing. We'll put that together in a minute. Uh, so we've got our base ready to be built. Let's come back when that's ready, and then we'll start building our new home. Oh, you know what else I'm going to want to do? Hold on. Let's get another chisel bit before we come back. Um, I should just hang on to my sticks, honestly. I shouldn't be storing them. How are we for wood? I know I just chopped down a bunch of trees, but it was all spruce wood, and I kind of prefer oak wood. Um, it's probably not going to be enough wood for now, but we can at least do this. I personally like braid. That's like my super duper favorite floor material, like by far. Um, so having braid floor is kind of the one I like to use, my personal preference. All right, good deal. Uh, so you're all cooking up. So we've got our bronze coming in now. Let's get, um, we'll make this guy the bronze one. All right, we need a cast first. And then you can do bronze. Nice. All right, and then uh, the plate will be iron. So you're going to be a broad axe head. You're going to be you, you. You're going to cool real quick. You're going to do that. And then we'll make you iron. Back in a sec. OK, got this guy ready to roll. Uh, broad axe head is totally cool. Nice. Love having one of these. Because uh, these chop down entire trees in one fell swoop. So you just go up to a tree, and you hit the bottom one, and the whole thing falls down. Love it. That'll get us more wood that we're going to need very quickly. So this is how you chop down trees. This is how you really clear out an area nicely. Goodbye, trees. Beautiful. All right, cool. Um, and maybe get a little bit more stuff. Uh, so we've got pretty much ready to roll with this house, right? So let's get the first foundation in. Um, so we're gonna use our excavator to clear out the floor, but uh, let's kinda, I'm gonna dump off some junk here. This is kinda like a miscellaneous junk chest, if you will. That's good for now. And then we'll move all our stuff in a few minutes. But, so this'll kinda be the foundational area of the land. Maybe Mr. Me Creeps clear out one more little 11 by 11 area. That would be cool. Hi, I'm Mr. Me Creeps. 13 yes, by 13? Me. Okay. But we'll start off with like a base here. Um, and we'll do a, a standard 9 by 9. So let's like start with the entrance here. Does that sound good? I think that looks nice. Good. Uh, now for the builder's wand, um, let's see if the hotkeys assigned for it. Wand modifier is period. So if you're holding your wand and you hit period, maybe that's the wrong one, M. Okay, so period must be the not enough wands modifier. Um, so you can change which face you extend from. So right now it's extending left and right from the original block, right? Um, you can do vertical uh, up and down from the original block. So if this was like two blocks tall, it would look like that. Cool. Um, this face, east and west from the initial block, right? Uh, which would look something like that. 
extend north, south, up, and down from the initial block, which kind of looks like that. Um, that is kind of the way I want to go, mostly. Or you can go like that, which kind of does all around. So that's the one I'm going to go with to build up with. Nice. So we'll do one, two, three more. And this will be our very first 9x9 nine nine of the series. How exciting is that? Everybody loves 9x9s. Nine and I'm starting with fancier decoration. It's not just plain old cobble. It's not the bright, it's not the nicest looking 9x9 nine nine in the world, but we do have this nifty mod called Exchangers, which I don't have access to yet because I need a bucket of resonant ender. I don't have any ender pearls yet, but soon-ish maybe we can get Exchangers and we can make this look even fancier. Cool. I mean, I think that looks pretty good. That's not that's not the worst 9x9 nine nine I've ever built. Uh, and as for glass for the ceiling, because I always like my, my ceilings to be encased in glass, uh, let's go get some. And we'll do a chisel glass of that. I like like the like the gray bordered glass. There's a couple gla glasses that I like. Um, so we'll see. And maybe now's a good time to get ours. Well, I don't know if now's a great time. Hey, what are you doing? Where'd you come from? Get away from here. I don't know if now's a perfect time to move our stuff just yet. I'll probably want another 9x9 nine nine ready. Um, but we'll see. Me creeps, by the way, can build 9x9s. Nine nine, so and we might try that in a minute. Um, they can totally build 9x9s nine nine for us. Provided we supply a chest with the appropriate resources. I don't know if he'll check or dictionary of cobblestone, though. He looks for cobble. I don't know if he'll look for this cobble. But maybe he will. We'll find out. I'm going to try it next. Uh, glass, are you done? Cool. Uh, I might want a little more glass. I don't think I have any more sand, though. Excavator time. This will help with my production of glass as well. Nobody tell Palmar. I don't actually need you, Lavenders. If I ever need Lavender, I know where to find it. So let's get, like, a stack of glass cooking. That works. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is probably... Chisel this glass up into something nice looking. So one of my favorites is usually this gray bordered glass. It looks pretty good. It's not bad glass at all. Um, and hopefully me creeps can detect him as well. So let's try having the me creeps build another. And it's going to be centered on the block you click on. But I want to try it. So let's get our me creeps box ready to go. Is it getting late? It's getting late. Let me sleep through the night. So I usually like my 9x9s to be like one block apart from each other, right? So we'll have this. Um... And then we will have something like this. And then we'll have, this will be like the wall, right? One, two, three, four, five is the center of the room. So this block is where we're going to want to center our 9x9 nine nine on. And that Hi, I'm Mr. is Meekie. where I'm going to have you build a house, 9x9, nine nine, yes, of course. Sorry. Can't find any cobblestone, that's right. All right, hold on. Let me mark that. I forgot I need a chest of cobble nearby. Uh, so chest of cobblestone, we'll just put this right here-ish. And if we put cobble in it, will you find the cobble? In fact, if I give him torches, he should do that as well. Let's see if I'm right about that. Uh, you can go away, Mr. Me Creeps. Just saved him despawning. Trust me, they're fine with it. Yes, Can't find any cobble? Really? Bummer. He doesn't detect this as cobble. That's a shame. By the way, using... Uh, Better as builder's wands in a smart way totally makes it easier uh, to set this up. Um, personal tip, if you bring up your light level overlay, you'll notice that this is the why I do 9x9s, nine by, by the way. Um, it is the most efficient structure with the most amount of space where you can have torches at a decent wall height that keep the whole room lit. One further away, um, and, and it's, a, it's like a super efficient way of like lighting up a room, basically. All right, so let's call this wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, I've got my first 9x9 house structure built. Uh, we'll come back next time 
and we'll have a little bit more fun uh, playing with meat creeps and uh, a few other things. But meat creeps can totally build like a regular cobble house for you. But since I'm trying to be a good dire wolf, uh, I went ahead and used uh, chiseled cobble for our house, for our initial house. I'll get the flooring in next episode as well. For now, Double 20 signing off. Take it easy. <laughs>